The Orange River Irrigation Project, Orip Farm, owned by government, is growing a variety of vegetables, including pumpkins, butternuts, watermelon, onions, sweet melon, beetroots, and carrots. According to Mungoba, the crop yields look very positive. Even though we did not really get the the financial injection as we wanted, we happened to get a little bit from our head office, whereby we engage our acting MD so that at the end we must have something on the ground because workers are here, they are getting paid, but we were not doing anything. Then I said, why can't we put some area under production so that at the end, even though we are not harvesting as much as we are supposed to harvest, we at least we have something on the coming in in the cover of the project. Orip is one of the seven schemes government plans to lease out to the private sector for failing to run a sustainable operation. Mungoba further revealed that government has already sealed a lease agreement with a private investor for Orip. The workers, he added, are expected to remain in their jobs after the takeover of the Orip farm operations by a private investor. He, however, would not be drawn into giving more details. We happened to receive a copy of an award letters, which was awarded to one company. But uh, at the moment, I'm not really at that point to discuss that because it was done under the ministries and not really at our he- head office, whereby I can be allowed to comment more on that. But. As far as I understand and seen, yes, there's a company which was awarded. I think it's better for you to engage the ministry, the office of the ED, so that you can get more information of this. All the crop produce are projected to generate close to half a million, says Mungoba. The produce will be sold on the local market. The Orip farm also produces dates expected to be harvested early next year. Luke Mantluta, NBC News, Housing Gang.